places to land right now. Uh, so we need all the altitude possible. Okay, so I'm flying away from my, uh, can't even see this, pros, uh, oh yeah. Arlington Tower, Skyhawk 1323 Kilo, left downwind, runway 16, reporting midfield. Sister 23 Kilo, runway 16, cleared, uh, touch and go on the go, make left traffic. Climb on. Touch and go, we'll make left traffic, 23 Kilo. Got a traffic behind us. <laughs> If you want to, you can engage your autopilot, run your checklist, and get set up for your approach. Okay. So I'm already on heading mode. All I got to do is hit. Two's captured. Yep. Bring me back south, so some this power out. Good. Okay. I'm gonna brief this. 
localized as one one zero point nine five. It's already yep. active. That's not active. We're we're not close enough to pick up the localizer. Okay. Will it switch automatically if I remember? Yeah. Okay. It'll turn green. Forces to be three fifty three. Okay. Uh this is already in there, 128.02. I was already there. I would have regional. Sphinx is 4625. And then that's ground and the Oklahoma is 122. Okay, right now we're heading straight for, uh, for uh, well, we're not heading straight for Leon, but that's. Um, yeah. yeah, we're just kind of getting set up for the approach. We got to be down here, so we're just heading out a little bit. Also, let me, before I go back, let me get my uh, crew. Good, good job. Let's check up. Electric fuel pump is off. Landing lights are off. Cruise checklist is complete. Heading toward Leon, which is another 12.5 nautical miles, and then uh, I guess you'll give me an intercept angle. I will. So let's go ahead and turn 10 degrees to the right. And 478 Delta Sierra, just turning 10 degrees to the right. Your other right. Oh, my right. My hood on. <laughs> okay, I got the airplane. Got the controls. Extend upwind, you're gonna follow Cessna traffic about two miles southeast. The field, let me know you have the traffic in sight. We'll extend upwind and look for traffic two, three kilo. Okay, finish briefing. Some established. Go down to 2300 when ATC clears me for coach. But yep, when you're cleared and established, you're right. Okay. And then once I pass Leon, I stay at 2300 until I hit the glass. Then follow along down, circling approach is 1020, which is already in there. Right. Okay. Yep, looks good. 9.9 nautical miles from Leon. Okay, um, I'm gonna switch over to Sphinx. I'm gonna ask them if we can do this approach. Okay. Um, if not, we'll continue to Cleburne. Okay, got him. See him on. Uh, he's a thousand feet below us, so okay. I don't see him, but um, it's not really a factor. Okay, let's turn 10 degrees to the right, and I'm gonna call up Port Sphinx. Okay, Port Sphinx. to turn 10 degrees to the right, boys. Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, 10 miles southeast with request. Delta 478 Delta Sierra, Sphinx Tower, say your request. I'd like to uh, see if you can accommodate a practice approach for uh, ILS 35 left circle to land. MA Delta Sierra maintains the Firefox ILS from the 36 left approach, please no separate services are provided for the automobile and then. Okay, we'll maintain VFR and report the outer marker inbound for 78 Delta Sierra. Thank you. 78 Delta Sierra, verify your Vader Shanky. 78 Delta Sierra, verify your Vader Shanky. Uh, we'll get Yankee now for 78 Delta Sierra. 276 Charlie, wait for 
Okay, good. Level it out. Very nice. Keep your descent. And let's slow it down. Check out your wind diamond. You, got a, uh, you actually don't have one right now. Okay, so just fly the needle. So there's your wind diamond right behind your little white triangle. Okay, so now how long are we going to fly this heading and altitude? It'd be, 20, it'd be 2300 until I get to... Um, watch your, watch your look like this. I get to... Um, Good, keep correcting your look while you're going to lose it. This is an... 79 Fox, opposite direction traffic. Good, keep up that scan. ILS to runway 36 left, still outside the marker. Right, we'll keep an eye out for him, 79 Fox. Good, hold it there, you're out there, uh, heading. Number eight, so we should be here. Opposite direction traffic in the right closed pattern. Is a... Look at my power. Cessna, Good. just turn to right base now for 18 right. I'm trying to... Keep... We'll be looking for that traffic for Trying to catch that. Add more power because we're 200 feet low. Okay, you notice your glide slope's coming in, yes? Yes, it's coming in. Okay, go for check. Okay, gas on fullest tank. It is. Uh, the courage. Mixture rich. There's your glide slope, pull the power, and start your descent. Extra props, and switches. And switches. Fuel, fuel pump. And we're flying that glide slope and that localizer now. Yes, reduce a lot. Yeah, good. Correction, the taxiway alpha north of the tower, clear to option. Uh, was my clear for the option? Alpha taxi way north of the tower. Descent rate's a little too fast. There we go. Sidle. Six power, diamond 478 Delta Sierra. We're past uh, the auto marker inbound. Diamond 8 Delta Sierra. Roger, go ahead and start your circle to the east. Opposite direction traffic uh, departing runway 18 right is the uh, Cessna. Let's go visual. Circle east and we're looking okay. for that traffic. 478 Delta Sierra. East. East. Okay, so that means fly like a crosswind. And stop descending. Minimums. Let's maintain this altitude and fly. One eight right, clear for the option. Four seven eight Delta Sierra. Seven eight Delta Sierra, what would you like us with? Uh, we're gonna depart the area and over to Cleburne. Seven eight Delta Sierra, Roger. On the go, Southwest departure approved. I have the traffic. On the go, Southwest departure, and we have that traffic uh, in sight. Thanks. I, one thing I, I don't see the traffic, so you. I saw it. Okay. I don't have it now. Okay. The thing I forgot to get in, because I was concentrating on so much stuff, is the flaps, which would have slowed me down big time. Okay. Oh. Okay, so now we're flying a normal pattern. So, whatever you need to do, slow it down. Traffic, 9 o'clock, low, less than one mile. That's okay. Okay, we already did gum. Under, yep. We're not gonna land, okay? Right. I also see a helicopter, so just north of the numbers or on I top of the numbers. I see okay. Okay. So we'll just fly this little circle. Yeah, the helicopter that's over uh, the north end there is landed on the Alpha Taxiway beam uh, or north of the tower. Okay, Roger, we see him. Thanks. Going to fly runway heading. Low approach. Uh, yeah. And you can stay visual for all this part. All right. Thanks, sir. We're at 829. Go Okay. Go ahead and turn inbound. Because we're not actually landing, so. In the pattern of the Cessna and the helicopter. Additional traffic on the left base. For the option on my 1A ride to Diamond Star, they'll be southwest down on the go. And, and keep, keep turning towards the runway. Minimums. Minimums.
I see. Good. Keep your turn coming. I see the helicopter. Yep. I don't see the other person he was talking to. Okay. We're cleared for the option, so we'll... Another fast drive traffic inbound from the southwest for right downwind to Warrior. And we'll just fly over the runway. Looking I see the, the other traffic. So. Okay. Good. Keep your turn coming, because we're getting pushed a little bit towards the west. That is a nice looking runway. Holy around. crap, yeah. Get out of here. Okay, you can go ahead and do a go around. So right. we'll climb up. Six Tower, Diamond 478, Delta Sierra. We are uh, heading out of here. Diamond 8, Delta Sierra, roger. Fast straight ahead for now. Traffic on a crosswind to downwind assessment. Straight ahead, and I have them in sight. 478, Delta Sierra. Right over there. Right on, Alpha Taxi, North Tower, of course, the option. Well, now it's my clear the option, Alpha Taxi, way north of the tower. Okay, so you can go back under the hood. Is that hood time? Whoop. A little slow. 6 tower, 7 Alpha Taxi, clear the option. Okay, I'm going to I'm already six yep. Good morning, citation. 635, Charlie, do it within the visual warning. And we'll climb to 2500. Good morning. Looks right in there, uh, sir. Are you on the visual or are you on the RNF? Uh, we just crossed Woke P, but we've been cleared for the visual. Uh, we'll be at the airport site. Another 5 Charlie, do it. Roger, report about a 4 mile final 1118 right. route. Plan to follow and assess, and it's on the right down in the Persian base. Okay, Roger that. We'll report a 4 mile final 1118 right. 5 Charlie, Let's get set up for our... Diamond 8 Delta Sierra, traffic four miles southwest, right down at 2,500, descending as a warrior. Roger, we're looking for that traffic, thanks. 470 Delta Sierra. 32 Delta, Diamond's a mile south, heading southwest down 1,900, climbing. We'll get to this Delta. I do not see them, but they're okay. We're in. Coming eight Delta Sierra, you can start a right turn towards Cleveland. The traffic's off your right one oh, at 2,100, one mile. Right turn towards Cleveland, and I have the traffic in sight. 478 Delta Sierra. Coming eight Delta Sierra, frequency change crew. Good day. Frequency change to crew. Thank you. Okay. As soon as, I, as soon as I level off the 2500 and another 100 feet, I'll go back, I'll go back to uh, okay. thing mode okay. and autopilot mode so I can get set up. Perfect. Let's play uh, this heading. 240. That sounds good. That's it up to right down the one eight right. Extend your downwind, you're following a citation, 5 north. Extend downwind, following citation, uh, looking for that citation, 90 Delta. Extend your downwind, following citation, 5 north, runway 1A right, clear to land, following assess, a short final there, low approach. Roger that, clear to land. Didn't catch the altitude. Right, 5 north. 5 north, you're in pitch, 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 Okay, so push vertical speed, nose down. There you go. That, well, that'll do it. Just give it a second. And now you can uh, engage. Citation number two on my 1A route, clear to land. Pull out some power because you're a little high. That one was hard. I First one I've done in a while, and I know that I didn't mean to suck. It's okay. We'll get it, though. Get it pretty good. Okay, we need to go direct to Cleburne. So let's just put in the pr uh, procedure. The direct, it'll save us some time, so. Procedure, select approach, enter, yeah. Uh, now you're gonna have to toggle up to the top left where it says Fort Worth Sphinx and you're gonna have to change that. 
Delta might have to push clear. And now big knob up to Fort Worth Sphinx. Uh, left one more, one more time. Oh, okay. So big knob left. So seven nine Fox shot your number three, falling a warrior right base. Then we're gonna go out quick for the option. So you need to be over here typing. Oh, seven nine five. All right. Push clear. A big knob left. There you go. Small knob left. Go. All right, that's fine. You can type too. Um, you don't know, so push, put initial approach fix. Okay, that's all the way over here. It is, but that's the procedure. You have to choose an initial approach fix if you don't know what they're going to give you. Centex 5-12, you're at you going to main answer? I'll first go to Harrison. Centex 5-12, you're at Roger. Table right at Fox, not Fox, golf will be fine. And then text the Alpha, monitor ground 1947. Okay, Fox shot uh, Alpha to the ramp with one ground, Fox shot. Okay, looks good. Kind of get your bearings by looking at what's going on here. So here's my plan for you. You're, we're about to fly through the final approach course. That's okay, I'm gonna vector you back around. Vector right. you back around this way, okay? All right. I just wanted to give you more time. Let me start the radio right quick. Okay. That's right, they said frequency changes approved. Alright, slow myself down just a little bit. Okay. Okay, this is going to be the watch. I have one five and two Cleburne, approach course is one fifty three. Miss approach, climb 3,000, wreck the side, cock and hole. So I get vectored around when I come, when I cross got me. I'm already at 2,500. So I'll stay at 2,500 until I hit Felva, which is the uh, approach fix and where I should pick my scope. Okay. And the uh, BA is 1240. All right, you feeling good on your setup? You're ready to go into Claiborne? Hey, let me go ahead and pick up the weather. Okay. Seven seven right, one seven left. Now runway one eight right, one eight left. Advise on initial contact. You have ADIS information, Yankee. Sphinx Tower, ADIS information, Yankee. One six four six Zulu weather. Wind one eight zero one zero. Visibility one zero miles. Contact ground one one nine point four seven. Five, zero, zero. Don't I wish Mike to be in Alpha Taxi Way? Don't I wish Mike was the option Alpha Taxi Way? Don't I wish Mike was the option Alpha Taxi Way? You accidentally switched it back to Sphinx Tower, so go back to Cleveland's frequency on COM 1. Oh, zero, nine. Peak gun, one niner, nine. Visibility, more than one, zero. Sky condition. I'm in 478 Delta Sierra. Fly heading 300. Three. I'm flying heading 300. Zero, zero. 
one niner Celsius. Altimeter, two niner eight eight inches of mercury. Remarks, density altitude, three five zero zero. I didn't get the barometer. Okay, listen again. I didn't get the wind. Regional airport. Automated weather observation, one seven one two Zulu. Wind, two zero zero at one zero knots. Peak gusts, one niner knots. Visibility, more than one zero. Sky condition, clear below one two thousand. Temperature, three four Celsius. Dew point, one niner Celsius. Altimeter, two niner eight eight inches of mercury. Remarks, density altitude, three five zero zero. I didn't stop. Good. Good. Okay, so I'm going to give you, so Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, expect radar vectors for the RNAV 15 approach into Cleaver. And Roger, expect radar vectors to the RNAV 15 approach. And Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, turn right, heading 090. Turn right, heading 090, 47 Delta Sierra. Okay, so now you are told to expect radar vectors. Good. Now, I will go down to an approach. Oh, it's very good. Now, is the correct line magenta? It is. So we'll keep on, keep on keeping on. Let's switch over to your green or your purple needles because this is a GPS approach and we're not using a, lo a localizer. There we go. Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, fly heading 120 to join the final approach course. I can fly heading 120 to join the final approach course. Boy, accept up. I might have to adjust that based on the wind, but we'll see. It's coming from my left, I mean from my right, oh, uh, right now it is. Yes. So pushing it, pushing us closer to the course. Left crosswind, turning left down, one one seven to Okay, so now what's gonna happen? What are we waiting for? We're gonna fly this heading until when? Until, gonna fly this heading until, um, intercept the glass, well, so I get established. Okay, good. Intercept the glass scope, which is at, you hit where you take me right now, what's that? Intercept the uh, final approach, approach course. course. Right, yes. right. And in about two nautical miles, I can go ahead and do my gumps check. Okay. And the final approach course is not set. It's on one, uh, it's on one five three, so I need to change my course now. The one five three? What's it set on now? It is Oh, it is one five three. I'm looking yep. at the wrong thing. It's one. Okay, so at this point, we're, our altitude is good. We cannot descend until we are established and cleared. We're not cleared and we're not established. Right. Okay, but we are waiting for our needle to come in. As soon as it, come, it comes in, we're turning inbound. Okay, so let's disengage the autopilot. I'm in 478 Delta Sierra. You are cleared for the RNAV runway 15 approach into Cleburne. 3027 Whiskey is currently four miles to the northwest, showing 1,200 inbound for landing, Decatur traffic. Decatur Charlie, 5 Niner Charlie's left face, 1 7 Decatur. Roger, clear for the RNAV 15 approach inbound. Okay, so now you're cleared, and now we're just waiting for your needle. Taylor traffic, RG745, pop out, so it's about 14 miles north of uh, Granger. Alright, so going the miles, I'll start my gums check. One, seven, Gas on full as tank. Taylor traffic, 5 down to Charlie's turn and final 17. Helicopter you doing taxiway landing or. You can leave that on. Okay, leave it on. the pattern, we'll just go taxiway, stay out of your way. Let's keep up your scan. Do one landing, taxi back, and then get out of here. Uh, Roger, then uh, wherever you need me. So it's Rich. Uh, 2718. Oh, yeah, you can take the taxi away, we'll just back taxi down the runway. That sounds good to us, 271. And flaps. Okay. Keep up your scan. Oh, crap. Yep. Let me try the 5 down to Charlie, short final 170 kid. That speed is 108, correct? We'll follow the end, number two. Okay. All right, 
because your altitude is set for 2,500, so let's just bug it for minimum. We're losing that white slip, so we need to pull a little bit more power out. Goes down just a little bit more. Good. I like your correction on your localizer. Or your needle, I guess. It stabilizes as I want it. There's a let's go again. Good job. A little more to the right. A little bit of power. We're getting the set. It's coming back in the center and again. It's definitely messing with me this time. Cleburne traffic, Diamond 478 Delta Sierra is on a two mile final for runway 15, Cleburne. Let's add a little more power, we're getting a little slow. Jump a little bit if you catch a climb scope. So whenever you want to recapture it, you just level off, okay. not climb. Alright, yeah, because I. Take this to minimum, then you can go visual, okay? Alright. Cleaver traffic, Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, one mile final, runway 15, Cleaver. Off. Correct a little more to the right. And do not go below your minimum. Let's keep following the glide slope. Until you get your minimum is right, then don't go below. Okay, add power, a little slow. You can go visual. Pretty I good? Can, I can make that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's go uh, around. So, just add full power, fly runway heading. What's your missed approach? Go ahead. What's your missed approach? Oh. Fly this to... One second. 1,800, then a climbing right turn at 3,000. Okay. Let's try to fly right over the runway. The Cleburne traffic, Diamond 478 Delta Sierra is going missed. Departing the area to the northeast. Cleburne. I had to work for that one. Hey, but the altitude you're climbing to. Yeah, go ahead and get your 
plate out, so if you need to set up autopilot or something to do that, you need to have your plate out to fly the mist. We're not going to fly the mist, but I want you to like look at it and know what it is. All right, Mr. Pro's climb to 3,000 to the Sackhawk and hold. Okay, so we'll just climb to 2,500. And Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, turn left heading 090. Turn left heading 090, 478 Delta Sierra. We are 500 feet off the ground, so you can go prop, back. And buck the heading you're turning to. Good job. You still got turn, time to do the steep turns? Yeah. So we can either do them right now and then set up the approach, or you can set up the approach and then we'll do them. I set up the approach. Okay. Um, just so we don't shoot through the approach, let's turn 10 degrees to the right. Pull back some power. We're just slow us down a little bit so we can just kind of not move, not get too far. Circling is 1100, but do you want to put normal uh, pattern altitude? Uh, yeah, sure, since we're not an actual IFR. But in real life, you would do the circling. Right.
Left down one for one way, one second over. Midfield of nine, three to go. Seven, seven, five, five, frequency change approved. Thank you for your turn approved. Seven, five, five. Okay, I got you. All right. Brown is in. Go on. The localizer, this is not active, right? Uh, the localizer is 111.55. Right, so let's go ahead and switch it over. And you're right, we are, we're not picking it up yet, so it's not going to be great. All, right. All the radios are set up, procedures loaded. Okay, I'll brief this while we're get into our, uh, where are we at? We're good, we'll do see turns about right here, and then we'll head in right there. Okay. Sound good? So this approach fix. Yes, sir. Okay. Approach course will be 342. This will be a ILS 34 runway with circle of land. A sauce is 1273 sign, it's already in there. Calling time is 128625, which we're listening to, ground is 12875. Approach will be climbed to 1100, then climb on left turn to 3000 via heading 345 to TTV VR DME Radio 2. The Tiller intersection, Tiller intersection hole. Trust now I would normally load, I would normally load that in the nav too. What? We got the traffic. Three to go. Oh yes. Yeah. If we were, you know. If yeah, we we don't have to do it now, but it's good that you acknowledge that because we do need to use that VOR to uh, go miss. Okay, once I pass, uh, once I pass Wicket, uh, I can come down to 2,300 feet. Then in, in Itsky, I can come down to 2,000 until I pick up the uh, glide scope at the final approach trick at Mike's and take the glide scope on down. To my minimums, which will be 60. Okay. Very good. You can put it away for a second, and then we will do some steep turn. You're going to have to disengage your beautiful autopilot setup All right, we'll and uh, pick the hood up as much as you need to be able to see outside. I'm sitting kind of low. <laughs> okay, ready? I'm ready. So we'll disengage. You're not around 90 knots or a little bit better. That's right, yes. Which room? <laughs> All right, so this big tick mark is the 30. The uh, smaller tick mark, we want to be just past the smaller tick mark. You want to demonstrate right quick since I ain't done anything? Oh, yeah, sure. My right, controls? You have, control. you have the controls. My controls. Oh, okay. Look at it. Then, oh, there we go. I'm going to turn my flight director off. Uh, no, I don't want to mess up your autopilot, so we'll just deal with it. Okay, I'm a little bit fast, a little bit descending. Okay, otherwise, we're good. Area is clear, my heading is bugged. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the left first. Okay, so make my turn to the left, expecting left rudder, and pulling that back pressure. Making sure I'm looking outside, adding a little bit of power. Going two, three, five, Mike Echo, you got the Arlington Tower frequency, but uh, only one. I'm gonna add a little bit more power, because we got a little bit slow, and we're descending. I want this gap for two, three, five, Mike Oh, I need more back pressure, if you can't tell. There we go. You feel that your butt sinking in the seat? Oh, yeah. That is what we are looking for. And I'm going to slowly roll out here. Back at 2,500, 90 knots, and my heading. We'll go to the right. Always make sure I'm looking in the right direction. Turning, clearing. If I hear the stall horn, I break my bank a little bit. Woo, it is bumpy. As long as I feel that pressure into the seat, I know I have a good idea that I have the right amount of back pressure. Okay, here comes my altitude. I mean, my, not my altitude. Heading, there we go. I'm back at 2,500, about 90, 95 knots, and on my heading. So I added some power, so I'm gonna pull that power out now. Reference did you use? Because it's not oh, um, there's use a, I used the heading, but that tiny, uh, shiny building. I don't know if you can see it. 
like all to the horizon. Yeah, what I used, it wasn't great, so. I mean, the head, the reference wasn't super great, but. Air control. And you want to touch and go? Alright, so we want to go ahead and reduce. Yeah, we'll do a touch and go. I'm gonna turn this down because we're not using it right now. I can hear you. We're gonna go ahead and reduce, reduce power. Right now, right. Yeah, 18, 18 inches seemed to work for me, and then I added it, added some power as we were turning. 18 inches. Uh, yeah, that was that was good for me at the beginning, but once I got established in my bank, I added about four inches of power. Alright. For, for sure. Alright, let's try this. I've done this in a round, so. That's okay. Take your time. So bank first. Good, always check in that direction, make sure we're not going to turn into anybody. Good. Okay, and I would add a little bit of power. Good, and a um, little, you don't need any back pressure yet because you are still climbing. There we go. Now add the back pressure, just a tiny bit. There we go, so that feeling. This looks really good. Can re reduce the bank a little bit. There we go. Keep that back pressure in. Your airspeed looks really good. A little bit more back pressure, very good. And increase your bank a little bit. And it works. This is almost to our heading. There's our shiny thing, so you can go ahead and roll out and lower the nose. Good. Okay, that's pretty good. Within 100 feet. And let's go to the right. Good job. And in a uh, in commercial, you don't get to stop in between. You have to go directly into the right. But that's okay, you haven't done it in a long time, so this is good practice. Good, add a little bit of power. This looks good. That looks good, feels good. Add a little more back pressure. It's And lower the nose so you don't balloon. And reduce the power. That was really good. Some I've done it in a long time. That right one was really good. Okay. Left one you were working it. It was still good, but you were had to work a little harder. The right one was a little bit more smooth. Okay, ready for this approach? Yep. Or you want to do steep turns again? I'm ready for the approach. Okay. So whenever you are ready, Diamond 478 Delta Sierra, fly direct to YCAB and expect the ILS 434 circle to land in Arlington. I'm going to fly direct to YCAB and expect the uh, ILS 34 circle to land. Okay. I can hit, so I can hit direct. You sure can. I'm crossing it. Yes, that sir. Way. And you go back under that hood. There you go. So when you were at YCAB, how far away are you from Arlington, from Arlington Airport? Uh, about 12 miles. Yeah, you just kind of add all these up is how yeah. far you, oh, so you're four miles, so five, 11, so about 15. Um, so when we get to White Cab, less than one mile. Less than one mile. You got that traffic? Uh, they're 2,000 feet above us. Okay. I can see them. Yep. And they're no back there. Okay. So once we get to White Cab, go ahead and call. Um, I'll, I'll, I can call for you. Right, let me get the let me get the address right. Hundred. Arlington Municipal Airport, Arlington, Texas. Automated weather observation, 1653, Zulu. Wind missing. Visibility, 10. 
Sky condition clear. Temperature 35 Celsius. Dew point 19 Celsius. Altimeter 2987. Remarks. Density altitude 3100. Arlington Municipal Airport, Arlington, Texas. Automated weather observation 1653 Zulu. Wind missing. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 35 Celsius. Dew point 19 Celsius. Altimeter 2987. Remarks. Density altitude 3100. Arlington Municipal Airport, Arlington, Texas. Get the barometer right there. Observation 1653 Zulu. Wind missing. Visibility 10. Sky condition clear. Temperature 35 Celsius. Dew point 19 Celsius. Altimeter 2987. Remarks. Density altitude 3100. Slow down. Arlington Municipal Airport, Arlington, Texas. Automated weather observation 1653 Zulu. Wind missing. Do you need this weather still? Zero. Oh, turn it off. There we go. Be a 2500 and not in. Okay. So maybe you need to use some tramp to take out some power. Arlington Tower, Diamond 478 Delta Sierra is about 14 miles south. Uh, inbound, like to request the practice aisle for runway 34 to the lamp. Or no separation services provided to report mics inbound. We'll maintain VFR and report mics inbound for Sunday Delta Sierra. I can see this traffic right here. Uh, I've, I've got them inside. Eight golf, 13 to the south. Looks uh, like they're. The power to work when we have the ILS traffic inside. Okay. Archer 8 9 8 Golf Arlington Tower, join left down 1216, report midfield. Left down 1216, report midfield, 8 9 8 Golf. Okay, Diamond 478, Delta Sierra, you are cleared for the ILS runway 34 approach, circle the land into Arlington. You're cleared for the, cleared for the uh, ILS 34. Okay, so now you are cleared and you are established. So what can you descend to? I can descend to. You, you might want to keep that out. And you can descend to what? So plus I ski, I can send to 2,000. Right, but I outside have. of e we can be at 2,300, which you are already at, but I think that was an accident. It was. Okay, let's add the power, a little slow. Very good. So right now we are headed to e so we need to hold 2,300 until we pass e Just in less than two nautical miles. That's right, it's actually in 0.1 miles. A little bit to the right, I'm at the right. I can descend to 2,000. Yes, sir. Take some of this power out. I'm at the tower, uh, Skyline 235, Mike Echo is holding for 168 Alpha Rook for a VFR and southbound departure over to Sphinx. Collapse is starting to come in. Tower, runway 16, quick for takeoff, right turn southwest, and approved. Okay, so we are descending, right? Uh, this would be. Yep. Uh, 235, Mike Echo. We go. Not 800 feet. Where's 
252 Alpha Golf, Central Coast, run, uh, runway 16. 252 Alpha Golf, Arlington Tower, and uh, make straight in runway 16. Straight in 16, 2 Alpha Golf. Arlington Tower, Archer 932 Golf is going to be the tower uh, for touching up. Archer 932 Golf, can you make a short approach? Yes, we can, 932 Golf. Perch 32 Golf, keep it short, runway 16. They can keep the wind needle, it's supposed to be. It's okay, it's okay. Doing good. Altitude's good. Alright, what are we waiting for now? Alright, gums check. Okay, let's do it. Okay, gas on full of tank, it is. Uh, undercarriage is fixed. I'm trying to get my altitude back. Good, and you're fast, so you can pull some power. Pitch is props 2400. That's full. Oh, full. Landing lights on, fuel pump on. Okay. I'm high. Yes. That's go starting to come in. Oh, There's 2,000. The okay, now hold 2,000 until we intercept that glide slope. All right. Coming back up. Corrections. A little slow and a little low, so good, good adjustment. There's a glass scope. Arlington Tower, Diamond 478, Delta Sierra, at uh, Mike's inbound. Can I help? Door 478, Delta Sierra, Arlington Tower. Roger, do you have some traffic after 1 o'clock and about a mile in sight? I do not have them in sight, 478. Over 478 Delta Tower, Arlington Tower, Roger. You're going to circle west of the field, joining a ride down with runway 16. And uh, I'll call the circle traffic opposite direction. Archer, all on the up on the up one will be making right traffic. You'll plan to follow them. You'll call the circle, and we will plan to follow that Archer. 478 Delta Sierra. Archer 932 Golf, and speeding up to for making an early right minimums. across on traffic opposite direction. A diamond, three miles. Hey, don't go below minimums. Do you set to pattern altitude? Right. Uh, uh, you could go visual. Arctic 2 off the table, go ahead and start it now. So what did he say? What did he say as far as circle? Right. Should we circle east? Okay. Yeah, circle east. 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 Circle